Hi, this is Bart Polson, and this video is a walkthrough of an exercise from Zed Shaw's book, Learn Python the Hard Way. If you go to its website, learnpythonthehardway.org, and then click here on Read the Free HTML Online, that'll take you to the table of contents. The one that we're dealing with right here is, scroll down a little bit, is Exercise 26. We're about halfway through. This one's called Congratulations, Take a Test. And if you click on that, it'll take you to this. And what it is in this case is he's asking us to troubleshoot a uh, some code. So what we need to do is download this file here. This is the one where we don't type a file. We we read it and we fix it. And it's um, it's information from exercises 24 and 25 that he says that he's either added random characters or removed stuff or basically messed them up. If you click on this. This is the file. It's a text file here. And what I did is I copied it and pasted it into my text editor, um, Text Wrangler. So let me go right there. So there it is. I've saved it into Text Wrangler and I saved it as a Python file so it did the, uh, the code coloring correctly. And then I uh, actually saved it as a, saved a duplicate. And at the moment, it's blank. By the way, if you open up two files in Python, it's going to open up a window right here. Let me show you just for a second. Let me just open up another one, exercise 25. Now, this can be a very handy thing to have two documents open up in sort of one window. Um, if you don't want that, well, if you want them in separate windows, you can just come here and either, let's see here, move to new window. Or you can just right click on it too. I'm doing a two finger click on my trackpad. Move to new window. Now it's in its own window. And that's what I did here. And then to get rid of this, you can either use the uh, view hide files or you can do a command zero. I'll do the command zero here. So that's gone now and I'll make this take up half the screen. But what I did is I actually copied this over to another file. I have it saved as EX, exercise 26A, and exercise 26B. And, in the, and on B, I went through all of my revisions and I've annotated each one of them. So let me show you what I got here. The first thing is this one. We're defining a function, break words, stuff, and truthfully, this one looks like everything got copied okay. So um, I think that one's all right. By the way, I, I went through this whole thing just reading the text and then I had to run it about three times. Uh, I would run it and find some errors and it took me a little while to chase them down. And so I, you know, it took me maybe 20 minutes to do this thing all together, but uh, this is my result. The next one is sort words and it is correct. It's, it's okay. Although I thought this was wrong and I tried fixing it and that actually caused some of my problems later on, but it's okay the way it is. The next one here is define print first words. And uh, we're just missing a colon right here. So I needed to add a colon. And then uh, words poop is not the correct one, it's pop. So I saved, uh, made those two changes. Print last words. This one was just missing the closing parenthesis. That should go right there. So I added that on. All right, next one. That looked okay, sort sentence. One after that, print first and last, that looked okay. Print first and last sorted, that looked okay. All right, now we're uh, ready to do stuff. These two print lines look okay to me. Then we come down here, the poem. I thought he would try to sneak something in there, but it looks okay. As well as this thing that prints uh, some dashes above it and prints the poem, then dashes below it. That looks good. All right, fundamental error. Um, if you subtract five, this is 10 minus two is eight plus three is 11 minus five is six. So you have to change this last one to six so that the, uh, the result is five. All right, then we have our new formula here, secret formula, which takes one argument. And this part's fine. Uh, this is a backslash. We can't have a backslash for division. That's actually used to escape a character and it's gonna screw things up. So I just changed it to a forward slash. Otherwise it's okay. All right, this one, 
it said bean jars crates and it had a double equals. We actually use double equals, but that's when we're doing what's called a Boolean operator where you're trying to figure when this value is exactly equal to this one, then do this. But that's not what we use for an assignment operator. It just needs to be a single uh, equal sign. Also, uh, start point can't have a dash in there, but you can have an underscore. So I change that. All right, now here we had um, print, we'd have D jeans. Uh, jeans just needs to be changed to beans. And that is all that one needs, just a small typo there. It'd still work, it, just when it printed out, it would have a wrong word on it. Okay, then we have this other option. We have so many beans, jars, crab apples, and secret formula information here. Okay, crab apples right here should be crates. So I change that. Start taunt. That's a typo. That needs to be start point. So it refers back to this variable we have right here. And um, there's no closing parenthesis. So I needed to add that right there. And with that, that one's good. All right, the sentence, all good things come to those who wait. We got a couple of typos in there. Uh, it says God when it needs to be good. And we have a tab uh, inserted in there for reasons that are unclear, so I just remove that, and we have uh, our homonyms, we, our homophones, we've got weight, it needs to be changed to the other weight. All right, now uh, we got a tricky one down here, because we typed stuff like this previously, where we do words equals ex25 dot break words, but that's if, we're, if we've created a module and referring back to the module and running in Python. We're not doing that. We're just using functions that are defined within this file. So I remove the ex25 dot, and then I just get the rest of it's normal. Same thing for sorted words. Okay, now things get a little uh, kind of crazy. This one has a dot at the beginning. That's going to cause an error because dot print is not a command. So I had to remove that. And then um, this one had the EX25 also, just had to remove that. Here we just had a typo. It's, it says print, it's supposed to say print, just had to add a T. And then we have this one. We uh, just first is missing a letter, so I added an F to make it first. This one has a couple of typos. Um, First off, the leading spaces are a problem. In a lot of other languages, white space doesn't mean anything, but in, in Python it does. And it leads Python to believe that this is part of a, like a function or a block with the line above it. It's not, so I gotta remove those leading spaces. The A here needs to be the word and, and sentence needs to be sentence. And I believe, let's see here. I believe that's it. All right, and when that's all set, what we do is we come over to the terminal and I type in Python and the name of the file. I'm doing exercise 26b.py. I'll just make this window a little bigger for a second. Hit return, and there it is. Everything printed out just the way it needs to be. So hopefully you were able to find those errors as well. and. Um, Maybe you feel a little accomplished. Anyhow, thank you, and I'll see you in the next exercise. Bye-bye.